Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Kristen and today I'm going to show you guys my favorite kitchen gadgets. So let's get started. Okay, so here I have my copper pots from the Copper Chef. Show you the bottom there. <laughs> copper Chef. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> so I love these. Um, anytime I use them in a vlog, a lot of you folks will compliment them and ask where I got them. So I will leave a link to them along with everything else down below. But um, yeah, this is my set of copper pots. They were a Christmas gift, so I don't know how much they were. But I love them. They do a fantastic job. They clean up really well despite the natural patina that is occurring in the bottom of the pans. Um, as you can see, we use these ones the absolute most. We use that one a fair amount for like pasta, boiling water. That's not going to cause a patina to... Um, happen in the bottom of the pan, which is like the darkness you're seeing is patina. It is not stuck on food, which is for the longest time is what I thought it was. Uh, so unless I'm mistaken, pretty sure patina is just what happens with lots of use. Um, but it's, it's harmless and they're clean. So yeah, I absolutely love when they come in three different sizes. Um, downside, there is a little bit of a downside. I'm trying to remember if it's this one. I want to say it's this one here. If you do egg on it or anything a little bit runny, um, for whatever reason, the center of the pan is up a little bit higher than the edges. So if you put anything a little bit runny on here, it's gonna wanna go straight off to the side. So a lot of times I do pancakes and I will cook them with butter in the pan. My butter wants to run right off to the side. If I do like a sunny side up egg and I put it in here, I have to hold the crack, the egg, I have to kind of hold it down with the shell um, until the white of it starts to cook a little bit so it stays in the middle otherwise it wants to run off the pan so that's the only real downside with this one but it's fantastic for making like grilled cheese sandwiches you can easily do two in the pan uh, or if you want to do like a cheese quesadilla or chicken quesadilla whatever kind of quesadilla you want to do fantastic for that um, same with this one this one seems to be a little more flat all the way across so I don't really have that issue as far as like things you know running off a uh, nice thing about this one is that it is nice and deep. So if I want to do like a hamburger helper dish in it, I'm very easily able to boil the water, cook the pasta, do the meat, do it all in one pan. Um, the other nice thing about these is that they do have the metal handles on both sides. So if you're doing something like say a chicken pot pie and after you've got everything assembled and cooked in here and you want to pop it in the oven, you don't have to transfer your food into another dish. You can easily, I use this almost like a cast iron skillet a lot of the time. So, you know, stove top to oven, no problem. And then this one is super good for doing pastas and soups. Um, they're, they're all fantastic. I use them all regularly. Um, these two being the most used, as I think you can tell from the center of the pan. Reusable drinking straws. I just picked these up from Walmart a couple weeks ago. Um, so I'm sure they still have them available. I just took this one out of a drink of water. So a little bit of water on the island here. Uh, but they come in, I want to say a five or six pack. I'm missing a couple of the straws here. There's there's at least two of the straights and three or four of the bended. Um, something I didn't know when I picked them up was if they bent or not. Because you have this little detail here and they are not bendy. They stay the shape that they are currently in so yeah it comes with one straight and then a handful of well two straights there I'm missing a straight and then I think there's a bendy I'm missing they also come with these rubber nibs so you have the choice of if you want these on or off but I will say once they're on they are kind of hard to get off so oh I guess not use your fingernail they slide right off so that's how it is when you buy them and the nibs are like at the bottom of the package and then you have the choice of if you want the rubber nib or not and I know there's some folks who say they don't like the feeling of a metal straw in their mouth so this could kind of solve that issue if that's something that you don't like because then it gives you what well, is rubber. So it's not really giving you the plastic feel, but uh, if you got an issue with the hardness of the straw, you might enjoy this. Another nice thing about it is that it is a thick rubber. So my toddler who likes to chew on straws, it has yet to be able to damage these. Um, then again, we've only had them a couple of weeks, so let's give him a couple of more, <laughs> but so far. So far, he hasn't been able to chew them up, which is fantastic. Um, and I like metal straws because they make your drink super cold. Um, so I was very tickled when I found these. And they do come with a very long cleaning brush so that you can give them a good scrub. So something else that I love are tumblers, reusable cups. 
Um, and I love these ones. I just got them at Walmart at the beginning of the summer. Sorry, my dog is eating his food, of course. Can you chew louder? The whole internet can't hear you. Do it louder. There you, there you go. <laughs> so, um, he, yeah. I got these at Walmart at the beginning, beginning of summer. I think they're super cute. They just kind of look like crystals. But the nice thing that I like about them is that they're tapered at the bottom. I'm not sure how well it's showing up on camera, but they're wider at the top and they get smaller at the bottom. So they fit in my cup holder in my car. So it's so easy for me to just take a Coke from home or a tea or a water. And that way I'm less likely to buy drinks when I'm out in town because I can easily take this with me. The lids are fantastic because they help prevent for a spill, obviously. Um, they do come with straws, but as I mentioned a moment ago, my toddler likes to chew plastic straws. So he has destroyed the straws that came with these cups but that's okay because we found these reusable straws that he has yet to be able to damage um and they just conveniently match there's a pink one floating around here somewhere too uh so yeah these are fantastic um i've been using them all summer long my toddler loves them he grabs them and runs off with them all the time so really nice pair of tumblers to take with you something else that i like and if anybody else has had tumblers you probably know um this little rubber gasket up in here, I've yet to have to do it, but I think if I needed to take it out for cleaning, um, I don't think I'd have that hard of a time taking out like a butter knife and then I can get in there and really clean it really well. That's an issue I've had with other tumblers is that the gasket in there you would not be able to remove just because of the shape of the lid. But because of the way this one's shaped, I think I could pop a butter knife in there and pop that out really easily. Don't quote me, like I said, I haven't done it yet, I haven't needed to. So far just cleaning it with soap and water in the sink has done the trick, but I've had others that get like a mold buildup and you can't get the casket out or you can't get up there to clean it. So I think that is something that will be easy to clean um, if it ever starts getting mold at the very top. Okay, these paring knives, I love them. We use them all of the time. Uh, we have a nice set of Paula Deen steak knives and we don't even grab those anymore. If we're eating steak or meat, we just grab out the paring knives. Need to cut an apple, grab the paring knife. Need to cut some carrots, grab a paring knife. They are so sharp. They do an amazing job. And they were only a couple bucks at Walmart. They're not very expensive at all. So if you're needing a good set of knives, these will do it for you. I don't know how many of you that are out there are watching our parents, but if you are, the Munchkin Baby Spoons are my personal favorite ones to use for baby as they get a little bit bigger. Uh, they are like, I started using these on my son when he was about nine or 10 months old. Um, they're like the perfect serving size. They're not too deep. Baby can get all of the food out with it. But the thing that I like the best about it is once baby starts getting teeth and wants to chew the spoon, these are super soft. So they're not gonna hurt your baby's teeth at all. My oldest boy never really bit the spoon much, but my youngest child bites the spoon every single time. <laughs> and so these, um, I don't have to worry about him damaging the spoon or damaging his teeth. They're super flexible. They're very soft and bendy and comparable to some other ones that we have. And I just feel like he's not going to like hurt his teeth when he chomps down on the spoon. Um, so these are my favorites. And I think it comes in a six pack. I'm missing a couple. I think they might be in the dirt. I think they might be in the drainer. Um, but these are our personal favorite baby spoon. Dollar Tree Kids Cups. These are a must and they are so easy to replace. Because, you know, if you got kids, you know, these things get left everywhere. They just get forgotten. You might find one outside, could be in the car, could be in the toy box, maybe underneath of their bed. They, they run off. It happens. And then they get gross and you got to throw them out. And the fantastic thing about these is that they're only a dollar. So they're easy to replace. They come in super fun shapes. So we got like a sun with sunglasses. This one's like a sand castle. I know that one's a little hard to tell um, until you start looking at it got an iridescent seashell this one is a beach ball these two are the most recent so if you're interested in any of them you'll have the best luck finding these I bought them this year these ones were from last year um, another nice thing about them is that they have these really super fat straws so as you can tell my toddler though he has tried has not been able to fully damage it um, but the thing that I like most about it is that they're so fat and chubby that they like almost seal themselves down in here so if one of them falls over they're not going to leak, which is flipping fantastic. A $1 cup that's not going to leak and it's easy to replace if they get moldy or they get curdled milk in them because they get left laying around. Um, they are a bit of a pain to clean because you get all these ridges through here. Um, as you can see, ridges and whatnot. 
The nice thing about these newer ones is that they are clear, so it's easier to see where you're cleaning. Uh, and like I mentioned, that pack of straws I showed you guys came with a cleaning brush. So it makes it super easy just to stick it down in there and give it a scrub, though. Um, I mean, it's, it's not my favorite type of straw to have to clean, but it's uh, doable. It can be done. And again, they're a dollar. So if the straw gets, to, gets super grody and you just can't clean it, toss it out, get another one. They've got all different kinds of them up at the Dollar Tree. And I definitely recommend that. Hey, guys, these things are life-changing. They are spoon holders. If you do not have one, you need one. So while they're cooking, you can easily set your spoon on your spoon holder. I have two of them. Um, the black one is from Walmart, so that'll be easy to link. This white one I think is kind of kind of neat because of it's just a more compact size and this just pops off for easy washing. Um, it is from World Market. It was a gift, so if I can find it to link it, I will. Um, but again, the, dollar, the, the black one is from Walmart, so that one will be easy to link. Okay, Caflon spatulas. These are my absolute favorite spatula. Um, we'll start with the downside. They do start to warp easily. This is my older one. This is my newer one. So you can see that the edges here have started to get a little, little melty and crispy. And you can see that on the bottom. So they need to be replaced about every year or two. It just is what it is. But what I love about these the most is that they are, one, very thick and sturdy. But two, they almost have like a very... I don't want to call it a sharp edge, but it's a very pointed edge. I don't know how well you guys can see, but it kind of slopes down. And so it's very pointed at the edge. So it's really easy to get it in there and say you're trying to get cookies off a plate without cracking them in half because they're still warm. You can easily slide that in there and get them without breaking them up. Or if you're flipping pancakes on the griddle or you're doing eggs and you don't want to pop the yolk, this spatula is going to give you enough, I don't know what you want to call it, flexibility. Um... I don't know, it's, it's gonna get in there and do that for you. In comparison to say a spatula like this, which I think came from like the dollar store, um, and clearly I'm not cleaning very well. It is a lot more loosey-goosey, as you guys can just see how easy that bends all over the place. You don't have as much control of it as you do with these ones. These ones do bend a bit, but they are not gonna bend <laughs> like this one. And the edges here, if you can tell, I'm not sure how well it's gonna pick up, they are more blunt and rounded. So trying to use something like this to get cookies off a sheet or to get a, a egg off the frying pan without popping the yolk. Um, for myself personally, I'm more likely to damage whatever it is I'm cooking. So I hardly ever grab this guy anymore. I always go for my Caflon. Um, highly recommend these. These are my favorite spatulas. I don't think any kitchen is complete without a set of Pyrex mixing bowls. These things are fantastic and they make for great family heirlooms. Mine actually came from my grandmother, so they have seen years and years worth of use. Uh, so a little bit of staining inside, but that's okay. I love this set because they one nest beautifully inside of each other. They just look pretty in your cabinet, they really do. But I love, love, love how they have two different sizes of spouts on the edges, right? So not only do the spouts work, as like a handle if you need to hold your bowl, um, but they also work for pouring things. So if you need like a super tiny spout, you got one side, or a bit of a bigger spout, you have the other. It comes in a set of four mixing bowls. Mine all match, but you can easily get mismatched sets or you've got some sets out there that have different colors. I've seen one that is blue and white and they have a rooster on them. Uh, it, they're just a fun thing to go out and find. They don't make them anymore, I don't think. But you can easily find them at a lot of thrift stores or antique stores. Though I did recently read an article that said something about these having lead paint on them. I'm assuming it's on this side, but I don't know for sure. So use with caution. But the way I look at it is my family has been eating out of these particular bowls for decades now. So I'm not too concerned with it personally. I continue to use them. They are my absolute favorite. Um, I, grew, I grew up with my mom having a set that she still uses to this day. My other grandmother had a set. Um, so I have been fed out of <laughs> Pyrex bowls my entire life. And when I mean fed, I mean like, you know, cook, making cookies or baking something or Thanksgiving rolls around. And so you need to have a dish to put, you know, like your stuffing and your cranberry sauce in your green beans, etc., etc. So we have just used these particular bowls in, um, like almost my entire life. Well, actually my entire life. They're considerably older than I am. They're very old, but they're fantastic. They're still holding up well. There's no chipping. 
anywhere on them. And I love them. They are they are fantastic. And if you not, have not invested in a set of Pyrex bowls, I highly recommend doing so. You won't regret that. You will use them all the time, especially if you like to bake. The downside is that they are still quite expensive. Um, to get a full set is close to 80 some dollars at most thrift stores, but every now and then you get lucky and someone prices them super cheap. So you just have to like go out looking for them um, and maybe you'll get lucky and get a complete set super cheap or you can just if you don't care about having a full set of the same ones you could go out and find random pieces here and there until you have all four sizes but they might be in different um, patterns or, or coloring I almost called it coats <laughs> but different patterns so whatever floats your boat a lot of times if you find like a single one you can get it for five to ten dollars pretty cheaply because it's not in its full set but a full set like this easily runs close to eighty dollars at least what I'm finding in thrift stores but again it is an investment worthwhile these bowls are probably from the 60s or 70s so as you can see they've held up for years and years worth of use They've now made it down to me. They have been a hand-me-down and they're just fantastic. They are an investment, but as an investment, that pays off because you will use them for years to come. Okay, let's talk about pot scrapers. I am just floored by how many people don't know about pot scrapers. They do exactly what they sound like. They scrape your pot when you're going to wash them. This one is from Pampered Chef. This one I picked up at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, they can be a little bit pricey. But they've held up well, though this one I think is about due to be replaced. It's not nearly as sharp on the edge as it used to be. It's gotten quite dull. Um, this one's still doing okay-ish. Really, I need to replace both of mine. But they just, if you got a hard stuck on anything, it just gets in there and scrapes it off your pan. Everybody needs one in their kitchen. Okay, so this is something I cannot live without in my kitchen, and that is my kitchen island. We picked this up at Big Lots for a couple hundred dollars. It was definitely under 400 and it was a fantastic investment. It's got the black granite countertops. We've had this thing for about five years, and as you can tell, it has not gotten any scratches in it. Um, I also was not aware you're supposed to use any kind of special cleaner on granite. Apparently that's a thing, like use vinegar only type of a situation. I use Lysol wipes all the time, and I've never had an issue. So I don't know if it's just has some kind of a coating on the top or what the deal is, but like I said, I've had it for five years. Um, and other than an occasional fingerprint here and there, like it just it smudges, it does smudge, you get fingerprints. Other than that, I've had no issues cleaning it with Lysol and it's held up beautifully. Like I said, we've had it for nearly five years. So inside down here, it is kind of a cheapy, cheaper wood. Um, you know, it's an under $400, it's under, it's a, it's a piece that's under $400. So like you're really getting what you're paid for, but I'm in love with the granite countertop. I feel like that's half the price right there, which is getting a really good granite countertop. So yeah, definitely like press board type shelving and everything, nothing super solid as far as like the boards are concerned. But again, it's held up well. So you get two different shelves on the inside. We use ours for snacks on the top and extra storage of appliances on the bottom. And it has three drawers and they all slide out pretty well um just normal they don't slam or anything when you shut them but i wouldn't call them low what is it like no slam drawers i wouldn't call it that um but they're pretty quiet if that matters to you at all and yeah we use one of ours for bread and again we've been here for five years and we've never had any issues with mice getting in here though we've only to our knowledge had one mouse in the house at all so um but yeah, we've never had any problems doing that. And this is what the other side of it looks like. It's got a towel rack. It is on casters, so you can wheel it wherever you need it to be. Um, and then the side right here has like a spice rack, another towel rack, and then a spot for knives. Uh, these knives, we don't use that often. We just grab them out if we need to like open a box, if I'm being honest. Um, but this one's pretty good. If we happen to get like a big roast or something, I'll wash that up and use it. But otherwise, uh, we don't per that's why it's next to a dog roller. I just want to clarify that. If I cooked with these regular, if I cooked with these often, they would be not they would not be next to the um, hair roller. But we mostly use them for opening boxes, and then this comes out on occasion, a couple times a year. So that's the only reason that's there. So I have to clarify that. <laughs> but this was definitely an investment um, worth making. 
Like I said, it was under $400. I want to say it was around $200, but I can't remember exactly. Um, but if Big Lots still has these, I will link them down below. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but we keep a lot of our medications here in the kitchen. So uh, wherever you keep your meds, you might want to consider doing this. Um, we got a printout from our doctors when we had our first boy, our first baby. Um, and it's just a child's dosage for over-the-counter medication. Um, so it has age, weight, um, and then how much you should give them. So this is an excellent little reference point if for whatever reason you needed to have access to that. So printing something like this offline or getting it from your doctor and then hanging it in your medicine cabinet as we did, um, just let you know exactly where it's at and it's easy to read and easy to find um, if and when you need it. Okay, here's something that I have to have in my kitchen and that is a good pair of kitchen scissors. Now that is, these are not something that I use on paper um, because that can dull your scissors, but these are specifically kitchen shears for using on food. They are like food grade and they're fantastic. So a lot of times, instead of taking the time to cut food up, especially for my kids, I've got little ones. Um, I've currently got a one-year-old, so he's starting to eat table food. Instead of taking the time to cut it all up with a knife, I'll grab a pair of scissors and I can cut things up much more quickly that way. Along with if I'm doing, say, some kind of like, let's say, chicken broccoli casserole. Instead of taking the time to cut the chicken with a knife, I'll stab it with a fork, hold it over the pot, and chunk it up with my scissors. Or say the broccoli in that dish is too big and I need to chop it a little bit smaller. I'll just get down in the pot and chop things up as they need to be done in the pot instead of taking it all out on a cutting board with a knife and fork. These are just fantastic to use for cutting meat, which is exactly what they're for, but I think they're more specifically for like cuts of meat before you cook them typically, um, but that's not what we use them for too awful much. Uh, I've done it occasionally with chicken thighs, but mostly we use it for when we're cooking a dish and we just need to cut something up entirely. Instead of grabbing out a knife and a fork and a cutting board, we just grab the kitchen shears and do it right over the pot. So this is definitely a must in my kitchen. Okay, last thing I'm gonna show you guys is my crock pot. Um, it is from Bella, and if I can link it, I will. I've had it for probably close to eight years now, at least seven. Um, so we'll see if I can find it to link it. But the reason I wanted to show it to you is because of the lid. I've gotten so many compliments on this when I show it when I show it in vlogs or cooking videos, people compliment me all the time or they ask questions about it because the lid is attached at the back. Um, it does come off for easy cleaning. There's a button on the back so it just pops right up, just the same as there's a button right here. Same button as on the back to re easily release it. But this just makes things super easy when you're cooking, you gotta open it real quick and shut it. You don't have to like have a steaming hot lid. To Dog is drinking water. Earlier he was eating food, now he's drinking water. So uh, yeah. Instead of having a steaming hot lid with like hot liquid dripping off that you're trying to find a place to sit down, um, you know, it's just all contained, lift it up, do your thing, close it down. It's fantastic. Other than that, it works like any other crock pot. Um, you cannot take the pot itself out when the back lid is still on. So you do have to detach this before you can take the pot out. Otherwise, it just kind of holds everything in place, which is, I guess, is kind of nice. Um, and then it also comes in the back here with a spot for holding a spoon. It did come with a particular spoon that goes with it, but I have found other ones pop in here just as easily. So if you're taking this to like a potluck or something, you easily have a spoon holder. So you got everything in one place. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you guys is my Ninja Air Fryer. Uh, this is a recent purchase. My husband got it for me for my birthday back in April. Um, so I haven't had it a super long time, but we are in love with it. We use it almost on a daily basis. Having little kids, we eat a lot of chicken nuggets and fish sticks and french fries. And currently we have some like frozen chicken patties that we find are super easy just to toss in here and cook for lunches or dinners for me and my husband. They're just grilled chicken patties, but they cook beautifully in here. Most things you can cook in this in about five minutes, some things less. I don't think I've had to cook anything in here for longer than 10 minutes. Most of the time, I flip things halfway through to get things perfectly crisp. Um, I did just use this for dinner tonight and I've not washed it yet, so just a heads up because I know there's gonna be a negative Nelly out there who's gonna be like, you're disgusting. Well, I just used it and I haven't washed it yet, so you will live, I promise. Um, so, grease left over from my chicken, <laughs> but it's got this little insert in here, so this pops out for easy cleaning. Um, this stands up a little bit from the base of the pot. 
that way air can circulate throughout the entire thing making sure things get crisp on both sides though i do like i said like to flip it halfway through um the whole thing comes out so you can easily wash it take the insert out and just wash the whole thing like a normal pot um so no issues there and i have not explored all the things yet that i can do in my air fryer but for what i've used it for i've really loved it another nice thing is that you can use it to reheat french fries how many of y'all buy french fries for your kids out in town or maybe for yourself and you don't use them all up and you feel bad because you got to throw them away or feed them to the dog or maybe you throw them outside for your squirrel like I do got a squirrel lives out front he likes french fries uh well with this thing you can easily reheat your french fries and they're, they're not as good as fresh they're not horrible they're definitely edible they're better than trying to do them in your regular oven where they typically in my opinion just burn um they take two to three minutes, depending on how many you have in your air fryer, just toss them halfway through and they're good to go. So you can reheat your chicken nuggets and your French fries if your kids don't eat them out of their Happy Meal and they can have it for dinner and it'll save you three bucks. Okay, so the air fryer is the last thing I have to share with you guys today. I really hope you did enjoy this video. Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. Let me know what your favorite kitchen item is. Uh, maybe I'll go check it out. Again, everything that I've showed you will be linked in the description box down below if you're interested, as long as I can find it to link it. Um, if you're new here, I hope you take the time to maybe check out my channel, see if there's any other content that you would enjoy. And maybe consider subscribing if you did like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up so other folks can find it and thank you so much for watching and i hope to catch you guys in my next video